Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you uh, with another journal page. I'm going to use uh, my big art journal for this page. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just am going to glue down some papers or just so that, you know, the papers down and then um, go from there and see where it takes me. Um, I have these papers that I found at Hobby Lobby that is actually for origami. But I think they really work great for um, using in an art journal. So I'm going to use some that were left over from a previous project and put those down on the page. I also have these uh, other papers that um, have a lot of fiber in them that I got when um, I ordered a kit some time ago. So I'm also going to use up these uh, scraps of paper as well on my journal page. And then go from there and see you know what develops. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a voiceover for this video and see how it goes. This is the first time I've done a voiceover. So uh, you guys can let me know if um, you prefer the voiceover or just the music in the background. Um, usually I sp uh, will speed the video up through making the page so that it goes a little bit more quickly and the videos aren't so long but um, you guys can let me know what you prefer here I just put some gesso out on my page and I'm using gesso to um, adhere the torn up pieces of paper to my page and I'm adding a little bit of water because the gesso is pretty opaque and I want to be able to see the, you know some of the color and the pattern but it not be so bright because it is a background and I, I skipped ahead so that you didn't have to watch me put down um, a bunch of different pieces of paper it is a little bit of time consuming process but I think it's it's definitely worth it some of them papers with the fibers uh, had required a little bit more to kind of get them to stick down but they did manage to go down on the page and I'm finishing up the last couple of pieces and then I'm spreading around the rest of the gesso that was left on the page this looks uh, pretty white but it will when it dries not be quite as opaque it, it, it does um, show as you can see here once it's dry you can see it still see the color and the patterns and I'm using stays on here to stamp on the background uh, with a couple of different colors um, I like stays on because they do what they say they stay on your page so I am planning to put more wet medium on top of this and I don't want these um, stamped images to run I want it to stay um, the uh, the colors and the crispness of the stamps to to stay um, the way that I stamp them on the page and here I'm stamping some koi fish on the page the first one was uh, oriental text. This whole page is is like an oriental type um, themed inspired page and there is a a um, picture slash word that I found um, in a magazine. I have several images uh, that I uh, found in my stash um, that had been cut out of magazines that seem to be oriental theme that um, I thought would make a good layout for this page. And here I um, have watercolors where I want to add some color on top of the page um, so it's not so white but I don't want it to be real dark uh, either. I just want some hints of color and this is not a very expensive watercolor set. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a fairly inexpensive watercolor set. I, I don't like to spend a lot of money on 
supplies for art journaling because I don't want to spend a lot of money on art supplies and I feel intimidated to create because I don't want to waste paint or waste product. So I tend to try to stick with fairly inexpensive supplies. If there's something that I need that I can't get inexpensively, then I, I try to get um, a coupon and use like a 50% off or 40% off coupon. That way it's um, keeping the cost within reason and I can feel free to play as much as I want and not be intimidated or feel like I'm wasting money by wasting product. So the next thing is the uh, matte medium. I'm going to make sure this is dry. The, the watercolor is completely dry before I start putting down my papers. And the matte medium um, works great for putting down um, your images. The uh, thing is, is I it dries a, a lot quicker than I realized and uh, it dried and stuck to my finger and so it tore a little piece at the bottom which you'll see here in a minute I kind of trim that off yep right there just trim it off where it stuck to my finger and and tore the image it's a little wonky but who cares this is just for fun couple of other images that I cut out of magazines. This is a picture of a lady holding an umbrella. And then the other image there um, is the floating candles and it says imagination. And that's actually was an inspiration for this whole page once I started looking through my stash of uh, different images and papers and things that I had and that I, I had cut out of magazines. I found that and started um, putting together this page with other images. And off camera I actually organized all of the images that I'm putting on this page so that I you know played around with them so I got an idea of what I wanted to put on the page and how I wanted the pieces um, organized and then I set them aside and now I'm trying to reconstruct um, what I had planned out um, off camera. So here I am putting down uh, other images that I found in my stash And uh, like I said, a lot of this is uh, oriental inspired. Those little round images are actually from a jewelry magazine. They were earrings and necklaces or something like that. And um, I just thought they were a really cool shape. I like the color of them. And I thought they would work great on, you know, a page, a journal page. So I, something I had my stash and thought it was something perfect for this page. Continuing to glue down the other elements with the uh, matte gel medium. And at the end, um, I do cover the whole thing with the matte gel medium just to make sure everything's down real good. This particular image actually came off of a bag that um, had egg rolls in it when we ordered uh, some oriental food be delivered to the house. And I just love the image of this woman. And I love that it's on a clear... Uh, background so you can kind of see the, the uh, background that I've created through the page and here's where I cover everything over with the matte gel medium just to make sure everything is 
down, stuck down really well. And I like that, you know, it also gives everything a nice kind of shiny uh, gloss to it. Then I'm going to try to, um, well, I did. I dried the page. I, I did that off camera. I stopped and dried it. And now I just wanted it a little bit darker shading around the whole page. So I'm using, um, this is actually Tim Holtz uh, Distressing Ink that I'm using um, to put some purple around the edges and then I wanted to darken it up a little bit around my images just to help them stand out a little better. And this is pretty much my page. Um, real simple, nothing too complicated. I really like the way it, it turned out and uh, at the end of the video I, I put some close-up of some of the details of the page so that you can see a little bit closer up oh, there I'm showing you what I used and there you have it a finished journal page thanks for watching